Hey guys doing so this is Neil from PerfectSunLED.com. It is March 25th. I am almost 40 years old. Oh yeah. This here is the Glueberry OG by Dutch Passion. It is a photo period, not an auto. And you can start to see some of them look like they're getting a little bit of orange hairs on them, just barely. See that right there. Nice and frosty. The buds are just starting to bulk up. So she is she is 25 days old, but I start counting about a week after I switch over to 1212. That's just the way I've always done it. Um, so that's how I do it. Just showing some of this. You can see they're starting to bulk up here. You can just give an idea, hand size here. But they're, I mean, they're going, you know, all of these are going down nice, like every branch. You can see every branch is tied down. But they, uh, yeah, they're all going straight down the branch, and it's nice. Even the ones way out here, you know, they're still gonna, they're still gonna be nice. But yeah, so then it's, it's it's got some stackage on it. She got a little bit burnt from pH and uh, some root issues from that Doctor Earth. I think it's because it was old. I ha I've, it's actually like a year old. I haven't. Uh, it was in my garage. And it's just in a bag. It's not like it ziplocks or anything, yeah? So I don't know. Maybe, maybe something got in it. So just to be on the safe side, what I did is I uh, go back over here so you guys can see the plant. This is in a very, very small pot. You can see here, it's on, it's on top. This right here is a a three gallon that it's on top of right now and so that's a plastic pot and so you can see this is just a, this is just a three gallon um, I think it holds actual three gallons of water fabric pot so it's, it's really really tiny pot but for being such a tiny pot I mean it got got a pretty good size pretty, pretty good size plant here actually I, th I think she'll she'll have a good if she really bulks up which I'm hoping that this strain does, she'll have a good six ounces on her, no problem. She's got a lot of tops, as you, as you can see, all those tops right there. But yeah, so anyway, um, and he put some gnat necks on on top of her too because there was a couple gnats in here, none none inside the grow room, but there was a couple here in the in the room. And yeah, so hopefully she finishes out before it starts getting too warm because there was a couple warm days and it got like 83 degrees in here. I didn't like that. And unfortunately, I'm not going to like bother with AC or anything like that in the bedroom because I just want to finish this. Plant. I wasn't I was going to throw this plant away. So, I mean, so it's not a big deal to me. Um, I'm not really worried about it. Because if it gets a little too hot, I might throw a fan in the window or something, open open the uh, window and then put a fan in there or something like that. I'll have to be careful how I open the window, though. I'll have to um, use like a hose or something like that. The hose kind of fans, you know whatever the ducking fans you know those kinds of fans and then just blow the air out that way that way i can you know that way the window's not open very much so no one can actually get into the window and then uh you know have one of those little screw locks on it whatever and then also that allows me to put the blanket over it very easily so it doesn't have light leaking into the room but hopefully she'll finish before that happens so as far as the auto flowers go um they're doing all right i i, I was gonna go out there and try to record that too but um, yeah, I just been so busy with with a lot of stuff. Oh, by the way, this is being grown under the Perfect Sun Max Yielder. I think that's what I'm calling it. Um, anyway, if I change my mind, I might change my mind. But either way, it, it'll be the new light on the website, and hopefully about a month or so. But yeah, um, basically, definitely something wrong with the Doctor Earth. Um, I don't think it's because it's old. I think it's because it was sitting in my garage and. You know, it's not like it was ziplocked shut or something like that. You know, it's it's, it's just folded over, so bugs could bugs bugs and shit like that could have got in it pretty easily. And um, this one definitely shows like root damage type of of stuff. Like when I first started feeding her synthetic nutrients, I was only giving her 0.8 of cycloflower. So remember, because remember, I had her under the for her almost all of her life she was on on, on dr earth powder nutrients uh so just all, all organic and then i'm like you know what this stuff isn't working good um and uh yeah so 
I haven't actually checked it for bugs yet. Someone someone said they found bugs in theirs. I haven't actually checked the doctor for bugs yet. But I can tell that there's root issues um, because once she went to eight, once she went to point eight of psychoflower nutrients, which is very very weak actually. Point eight EC is not very strong. So um, I've never had a plant not be able to handle that if it's healthy. You know, if the roots and everything are healthy. And so I'm thinking that something inside the doctor earth uh, made the roots not as healthy because once I started feeding her that, right away you start seeing some of the the leaf burn here, so the tips. Yeah, so right away that's what started happening. Um, I think it might have stopped by now, um, hopefully. But basically she wasn't able to uptake the nutrients as well as she should be able to. She should easily build up, take 0.8, no problem. She's been fed once a day by hand. And uh, the pH is fine. That, that's all on par. That's all good. But yeah, so anyway, uh, I, might, I might try Dr. Earth again, maybe in the future. Um, but this time, make sure I buy, obviously, buy a brand new bag. And uh, but I don't know, someone else said they brought a brand new bag and there was bugs in it. So maybe buy a brand new bag and check, the, check for bugs. Or maybe just use the, the liquid kind. But if I do that, then I have to... Um, no, I guess I can still have it feed with water throughout the day and work the liquid liquid kind through it. I just have to feed less. No, I can still feed the same amount. Um, yeah, I could do that. That might actually work. So uh, but either way, that's kind of dumb because then it defeats the whole purpose of, you know, I'm not going to make that stuff stink so bad. I'm not going to have that be inside the drum and it just will clog up the pump so fast. But anyway, so... But maybe some other kind of organic nutrients I'll I'll try maybe I don't know I'm not, I'm not too worried I'm not too worried about whether it's organic or not anyway it's not that big of a deal uh, lately so what we've been doing is I bought a uh, bought my wife a automatic press so you just rose and press sorry so you just push a button like that and smashes it so it's pretty cool and uh, so she just does you know some buds at a time and just smashes them up into oil. Uh, because, uh, you know, we're thinking about it, you know, it's like, yeah, you make dabs with butane, but no matter how pure the butane is, there's still going to be some residual stuff in the butane that's not butane. And that residual stuff, I don't think evaporates. So anyway, I was just thinking about like, what's, what's, what's more healthier, a heat press, you know, just using a heat press to put pressure and heat to push all the oil out and, and, and make rosin. Or dabs, and obviously rosin's going to be the healthier, the healthier way to do it. Uh, so yeah, anyway, yeah, so that's decided just to go with rosin pressing. And yeah, I, mean, I don't, I don't bother doing the whole making hash first, or well, not hash, but you know, making the uh, pollen or whatever, whatever you want to call it, doing the dry ice, you know, bag shaking and get a bunch of the looks like yellow pollen, and then and then using that and then smashing that in heat press. I just don't bother all. I don't bother with all that. We just straight just put the buds in there and just smash them, and we get get pretty good yields that way. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good, and that's pretty much all the buds go to. So you know now now I don't even bother trimming them. It's just like, you know, I used to trim the sugar leaves off separately because my buddy really likes the uh, the sugar leaves by itself for for um for making for making dabs and stuff in his laboratory, but. Now, now I just leave it on there because I want to get as much oil off every bud. So it's like you know, every time we smash a bud, uh, we get a good amount of oil on there. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. There's not much uh, update here, you know, really. Um, as you can see, the buds are, are starting to fill in. And there's a good amount of them on there. So she's looking nice. Yeah, definitely a um, nice smell. Really, really fruity smell, which is awesome. The Three Bears OG, we just now, I just now jarred her up. And... Uh, she smells fa she smells fantastic. The um, she actually smells really skunky right now. So I'm I'm thinking that 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 will probably change because she's just now gotten the jars. I went through the whole Humboldt thing that I told you guys about before. If you guys haven't seen my Humboldt dry curing process, definitely check out those videos. And so I went through that whole process. You know, it it takes a little while because you have to let it hang dry. Then you have to put it into the paper sack, and then you have to put it the paper sack into the garbage bag. And let it regulate and then finally after once it's ready then put it into the jar and uh, now she has to be burped every day for about a week or so and then she'll be ready to just probably just sit there indefinitely but I, but I still open it like once a week just to make sure everything's going good but yeah so we did the same thing with the uh, Gorilla Glue that came the Auto Gorilla Glue that came down with Fast Buds and she still smells fantastic really great I'll be posting a um, video uh, review that my wife did of 
the Sensi Skunk autoflower. And <laughs> it was kind of funny because while she was doing the review, um, I think she gave it like a 8.4 or something like that. She comes out after doing the review and hands, hands me the phone and stuff. She's like, oh, I recorded the review. And I was like, cool, cool. And then she's like, oh, um, she was saying something. And then she like lost her train of thought. I'm like, damn, you're stoned. Like, I can just tell, like, you're, you're fucking stoned. And then she, then she got kind of, like, paranoid. She's like, whoa, I haven't felt like this in a while. I'm like, well, you, it's probably because you're used to, you know, smoking dabs and rosin, and now and now you're smoking weed. Maybe it's a little different. And she's like, yeah. And then anyway, so she didn't wait long enough to give a good, to give it enough time to kick in. It kicked, it kicked in a little bit later than usual. But once it fully kicked in, she's like, you know what? I probably should go redo that review because it's definitely stronger than, than 8.4. It's more like a 9. And so anyway, it's, it's, it's really stony stuff. So definitely if you guys, and it's a good yielder and it looks nice, smells good. So, uh, mine smells very citrusy, at least the phenotype that I grew. So it has a very citrus smell to it, but it, it really did cure very, very nicely. So anyway, if you guys want a big yielding auto flower, you guys want to try some, something a little different, check out the Scentsy Skunk, uh, or just Skunk by Scentsy Seeds Auto Flower Skunk. It's nice. So I def I can definitely recommend it now. Very, very, very smooth. She said it's actually smoother, smoother than the Gorilla Glue, although the Gorilla Glue has a slightly better taste and, and, and stronger taste. Um, but still, uh, you know, she said the taste is really nice. It's just not that. It doesn't come through very strong on the Scentsy Skunk, but super smooth. So anyway, all right. So yeah, definitely recommend that. The Three Bears OG, like I said, is curing. It's got a skunky, skunky smell right now. I have a feeling it's going to get more sweet as it cures. And then all the other plants, um, I think what I'm going to do with the autoflowers for right now is um, I'm going to let the ones, since they just didn't, you know, because of the problems they had with the with that powder nutrient, I don't know if it was something in the nutrient or whatever, just in case I put a little bleach in the water to kill anything that's in the roots. And if you guys are wondering what the measurements on that, I use, I use anywhere from a half a milliliter to five milliliters for about like 75 gallons of water. It really, it really, I've, I've, I've done bleach for a long time a lot of commercial grows do bleach in there and when they do deep water culture back when i did deep water culture i did i did bleach for a long time without any any like it's it works great you just got to make sure don't overdo it um it's a lot cheaper than using the the peroxide but anyway peroxide's more beneficial though but nonetheless you know it's a cheaper option and it works great i just want to make sure that it, whatever's in it whatever's in the root system was totally killed just in case but yeah, anyway, they're 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 a decent size. They're not like, you know, they're they're like they're based like the three bears OG. They're not, they're nothing special. Um, but anyway, so I'll I'll try to get some updates of that. But if I I might not. I don't know. I might I might just let it go ahead and finish out. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it finish out and I'm gonna do five plants and then after about 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 a month, then another five plants. I'll be like that's how I'm gonna rotate it. Five plants and five plants, five plants. So always harvesting five plants. That just make it easier on us, um, especially just because of circumstances and everything like that with uh, with health issues and then with just time. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I'm so busy all the time with so much stuff, uh, especially with my art um, and my, uh, you know, that's my main, that's my main business. That's been my main business for a long time. And, uh, and I write novels and screenplays. I just do a lot of stuff. So anyway, all right, guys. So just thought I'd give an update on stuff. If I, so if I don't update the autoflower grow, it's just because I just want to, let, let those plants finish out and then start over just because honestly the I mean I, I don't know I might, I might as well show them just they're just they're just something special that's all but I, I mean, like I said I'm not really worried about big yields but I do want the plants to at least grow to their potential inside inside of these pots you know and uh yeah that that powder nutrient uh I, I have a feeling it was because it's it's old and maybe something got in it I don't know um whatever it happens uh, I, I should have, you know, went and brought, bought brand new stuff. And who knows, maybe it still would happen even with brand new stuff. I don't know. I doubt, I doubt it would have caused that much issues, though, because they didn't get very big at all, like maybe two feet, uh, which is just, that's insane. And, and, you know, they didn't really bush out hardly. So you guys know me. You know how my autoflowers get, even in small pots, even in a one-gallon pot, my autoflowers would get good size. Um, so... Yeah, it's just it's something to do with that powder nutrient. So I, I definitely can't recommend it for indoor growing. I mean, outdoor, outdoor growing, it did great. Um, but indoor growing, I don't know. I don't, maybe it's because outdoor grows, I usually do soil anyway. Um, but yeah, so. But I can't recommend it until I try it for 
you know, full grow indoors and actually works right. Um, and, and for that, I definitely need to make sure I buy some brand new stuff and then maybe make sure to check it with a um, magnifying glass for any bugs or anything like that. Or I don't know, even then it could be eggs, you know, that I haven't hatched yet or something. I don't know. But uh, typically, it should be, should be, you think it would be sterile, but anyway, I'm not too worried about it. Honestly, like I was thinking about, it, like it's really not any easier uh, to do, especially for her since she's mostly taking over the growing now. It's really easier for her just to mix up the batch of nutrients inside the tote or the drum and just have it auto, auto drip rather than having to watch the plant, see how green it is, and then top it with the, you know the nutrients. I mean, I mean she she was doing that part too, and it was it was fine as long as I was giving the instructions on how to do everything. But it's actually easier, she said, just to do the the cycloflower nutrients and cycloflower gives way better results as far as you know fast of growth and, and how big it gets and all that kind of stuff um, and, and also the powder nutrients just um, being watered you know every three hours I, I think it would work fine if it was the right nutrients maybe I don't know and like I said maybe there's something wrong I don't know I'm kind of rambling and maybe something wrong with the nutrients like I said because it's old and maybe bugs got it I don't know don't know damn it <laughs> sorry trying to like balance myself and, and then like the fan anyway all right, so that's it. So I'm not really sure else to update on everything. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do, do updates more. It's just these these plants. You know, that's why I don't like photos. They don't change that much. So honestly, doing an update every two days or three days on a photo period just doesn't seem interesting, really, because there's not really much to look at. I mean, there's a there's a pretty big, pretty big di pretty big difference now. You know, from from now to last time you saw it, right? <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> I probably should. I, should, I probably should update update a little bit earlier. Like I wait. I thought it was. I didn't realize I had waited 12 days in between the last update. I thought. I thought. Oh, it's not. It hasn't been that long. But I guess time flies sometimes. But yeah, I've been working on an oil painting of me and my wife, and uh, so that's kind of cool. It's on my Facebook. Um, I showed the. I still have a lot of work to do on it. I just. I haven't even finished my own fish. I mean, it's like it looks finished, but it's really not finished yet. There's still a lot of work to do on it. But yeah, so. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. We're going to go watch a movie now. My anxiety has been, I mean, if you want to call it anxiety, whatever, my hell attacks, you know, hell on earth, that's what I call them, has been doing a lot better. But uh, it, I have other health issues that aren't doing so good. And uh, anyway, it is what it is. Life is what it is. All right, guys, dope peace.